YouTube! Welcome back to my channel. Finally, after like three weeks, I think. Um, but I'm not going to even apologize for not putting content up as well as I should be because I just haven't. I don't have an excuse. Um, but I am back and I am going to be more consistent now. Um, that I'm going off to school soon and I will have people to record my workouts and such. And I will have a little bit more time than I do now in the summer. But anyways, this is a back and by workout that I recorded a long time ago and I actually had edited all the footage and I lost it and then I somehow got it back so I apologize if it's a little grainy. I had used my old iMovie to edit it. So I'm not sure how it's going to completely look, but I just wanted to record a new intro and outro for you guys just to update you on kind of why I have not been posting on YouTube, but if you do go to my Instagram account, I post pretty much every day. Um, that link is always in the bio, all my social media is always in the bio. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys don't mind that I've been missing in action a little bit, but I'm very happy to be uploading more regularly again. And I hope you guys enjoy this workout because these are some of my staples for back and by day. So I will see you in the video. Hi guys, welcome back to another commentary. Um, this workout is a back and by workout, and whenever I work out back, I always start with unassisted pull-ups, usually neutral grip, because that's all I can do, and I just see how many I can do there. Next workout I do is assisted pull-ups, following the unassisted to give me more support. After that, I like to do negative pull-ups, so you can't really, well, you can see I'm pushing myself up with my feet at the top of the contraction and letting go slowly, and the, this really builds up your back muscles to be able to do unassisted pull-ups. The next exercise are high rows, and I love these for my back. Um, they're easy to do. I feel like they flow naturally, and I just really love them for building a V taper. The next exercise is for your biceps. They're just these incline bicep curls. If you can, um, like lay on a box and set your back, your upper arms on the box and do it that way. It gives you a really crazy contraction, so I suggest doing them that way if you can. And the last exercise is for biceps and they are these lying bicep curls. I just like these to change up since biceps kind of get repetitive to train. Mm -hmm. 